Get over here. Where's my dispatch notes? Right, thanks. See you later. Alright, mate. Uh, come on then. Hop into the cab. Now, today we're going from Nogales, where we are, in sell goods. Uh, we're going to Yuma, to the rail export. We're taking £33,000 of nuts, and for the job, we're going to get off sell goods $9,698. The total journey of 308 miles. I've not looked at the route. I'm not bothering looking at the route. Can't be asked. But sat nav. So just get your head down. Keep quiet. And we'll get on all right. Don't worry about food. A drink. We'll get something to eat on our route. When we call into a garage. So we'll get going. Uh, we'll get on in. We'll get the engine started. We're still in our Kenworth. And we'll get on our way. But how long will it take us? Take us about... Five hours. Yeah, plenty of time to sleep. I know it's only a day cab and it's uncomfy. Oh, keep going. Hey everybody, welcome to my American Truck Simulator career mode. Um, I've just been listening to this numb nuts that sat outside of me in the passenger seat and he's complaining about food where has everybody been? busy 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 over on my end Appointments and whatnot and work. I've gone back to work four days a week now, so everything's busy. Um, as you know. That they've updated the version of American Truck Simulator to 1.35 which meant the mods what I did have don't work anymore so everything's back to basics uh, we're going to be making our way north starting to make our way north and we're going to be hoping to go into new DLCs what I bought which is Washington got the full map hey. come on mate can't get through there no case Uh, I've also, because at the moment Steam's got a sale on American Truck Simulator DLC, so I bought some other add-ons which consist of the heavy cargoes and forest machinery, but my driver's not at a level yet to carry this, to get these jobs so I've, like I said I bought the new Washington DLC um, I've not been into it yet not done any jobs I'm looking forward to going up that way. See what the scenery is like. Seen a few videos on YouTube. The squirrel and Jeff Fabiano with the, with some of the DLC and it it does look quite good. I can't wait to get some of these uh, heavy old jobs to be done. We've 
evolve into this right this left hand lane. Get out these roadworks. So yeah. Looking forward to it. Now if you're new to my videos, uh, consider hitting that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification for when any, any further American Truck Simulator videos come out. I've also got another couple of playlists running side by side. I've got a Euro Truck Simulator which is a 30 miles per hour anywhere challenge which means that I can't travel I've got to travel between two points at 30 miles per hour and I've also got an FSX FS economy career mode where I'm spanning the globe in a Cessna 172 making our way back from New Zealand into Manchester which will be my home base so give them a look if you wish Ah, you snooze, you lose. Give over. Never touched him. So what's going to happen at the end of this journey? Uh, well, what I've got now is I've got enough funds to buy a second truck. Now if you've followed me from episode 1, you'll know that my aim in this is to not use the banks, which I haven't done. This is, oh, everything that I do in this series is all self-funded. So I don't use banks, or loans, or anything. Didn't realise it was 75. Get it up to 60. 70. Yeah, it's all self-funded. No bank loans, no nothing. The only problem is, though, when I do go to buy another truck, unless I go to a truck dealer in Yuma, if there is one, I'd have to go back to my home base in Elko. But what I'll do then, if I do have to travel back to my own base, I'll do some jobs offline and I'll make my way back to my last, to the end of my last video, which is what I've had to do because, um, as I've said, it's upgraded to version 1.35 I did have jobs out did have 
dobs going and with me taking the mods off what I had because it was causing I don't want that well there's going to be Shut the slip rod off. Expected him to come into me then. I was expecting that guy to turn into me. Yeah, what I've had to do is I've had to take all the mods out. So I'm playing with just a blank canvas now. I'm not really too concerned about it, about that. But it has reset me back to my own base a couple of times. So uh, what I have done is I played offline and I've gone back to where the previous journey ended. There are thereabouts. Hence why I've got money to buy another truck. Because I know that you would like to come on every journey with me. sometimes it's just not possible I like to know what Excuse me. I'd like to know what next DLC SCS are going to fetch out. Uh, pause. Yeah. Texas. What I'd like to see is um, rather than coming off at this one. No, I'm not. Oh, give over. He never touched him. He stopped. That's 2,700 in fines. Yeah, what I'd like to see from SCS is in the next upgrade, instead of just having engine malfunctions, is 
when your tyres get to a certain point, you experience blowouts, which happens in real life. Uh, real mechanical failures. I like to see uh, a third person point of view where you can actually get out and walk around the cabs right? when, you, when you're refueling you can actually get out your cab walk to the pump pick up the nozzle and refuel the truck yourself. Maybe it's some, something they can look at. But we'll never know. He's gonna clip me there. Oh well, yeah, maybe we can uh, look at that. SCS All right, else go up. I'm glad we took this detour now. Quite picturesque. practicing my reversing whilst being off fine whilst I've been doing other journeys I'm getting a bit better but no major accidents as I have had before in the past So oh, there's one thing that I'm looking forward to now, and I've seen a couple of videos on it, um, and I'm looking to the, looking forward to the new FSX coming out. It looks absolutely immense, and if it's true what they've said about it, whereas they've been using Google Maps. For all the terrain and the buildings, and yeah, yeah, it's it's going to look good. The only thing I am a bit sceptical about is whether you're going to be able to use all you've already purchased airwear with it.
whether you're going to be able to cross check them over because I know a lot of people that do play FSX they spend a lot of money on the, um, the pair work I think to fetch a new simulator out and you're not having the ability to take it with you going to be a kick in the teeth for some people but it's not due out till 2020 it's still in development stage at the moment only 90 miles to go to our destination Well, yeah, I, I've uh, been able over the last month to do quite a bit of recording and some videos, but now with going back to work four days a week, I'm going to try and keep on top of it. But I only get the weekends off and Tuesdays off at this moment in time so I'm going to try and keep on top uh, I've been releasing three videos a week for the last four weeks try and keep on top of it all but if it gets too much then you know I may go alternate weeks where I'll just be releasing one or two videos I don't want to do that I want to build up a bit of a base and I know that the key to success on YouTube is regular content which is what I want to try and do but it could be with some time restraint some time I will try and do it but if I can't then you know the reasons why like I say I've got a I have a busy family life as well I've got a 13 year old daughter who's currently going through some end of year exams and sometimes it's just getting the motivation to actually get the videos done because they do take time you've got the recording you've got the editing you've got the creating Ooh. thumbnails and it does take time if I've got three videos recording in a week then I'm looking at a whole day editing Now I'm coming off at this junction, we're not too far away. So 
we get to the bottom, we're going to be turning left. What I'm going to do first, and I'm going to do this discoverable. Hopefully it is a truck dealer. Not a recruitment centre. Taking a bit of a snooze there at them lights. I think that might just be a garage. There is a discoverable there. We've got time. By the looks of it, it's got a service centre and a rest area there. But it looks like it is a truck dealer. And it's a Peterbilt. Peterbilt truck dealer. We'll just turn around in here and then we're going uh to our destination. We're straight over there. I know you're tired, shut your face. There's also another depot there. I can face myself out of humour as well. One little take there. You know, I'm not getting fine for that. As well, come and rest Ooh. next time. Gonna be turning right at this set of lights and
anything coming that way? Nope, nothing coming that way, so we can go straight through these lights on red. In here. All lights change, please. He's going to want it in an absolutely stupid place. Hey. hey, well, I can't turn on that. I have to go here. I know I'm not saying much because I'm trying to concentrate. There we go. That wasn't too bad, was it? That's uh, reversing's got a lot better as I've gone on. We'll detach the trailer and uh, then we'll go and buy our new truck. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. 785 XP points. Not too bad. We're getting more of a bonus for getting long distance. So what we'll do now is we'll go into a truck dealer. Uh, we'll go and see what the prices are. Yes, we'll travel to Yuma, we know where we are. Well, there's only two what we can afford. Plus these aren't available till level 20. We're gonna have a look. We'll just go for the bug standard engine. So we'll confirm that. And we'll purchase that truck for 118,000. I don't want to drive it. I'm going to put it Alco. the truck dealership and then I will go and hire a driver Joseph S We can drive our second truck. Well, with that, now you've seen the second truck bought. It's just a shame I can't put it into my paintwork. Not to worry. Well, with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it now, and I'll see you next time. Once again, let me reiterate. If you've liked what you've seen, hit that bell notification, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up, it helps my little channel out, helps get my videos advertised. 
Well, with this, I'll see you next time and happy trucking.